Hello friends, this video on statistics part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take uh, one more numerical. A study was conducted to find the concentration of sulfur dioxide, poisonous gas in the air, in parts per million of a certain city. The data is operated for 30 days and we have to create the grouped frequency distribution table. They have given one sample class. And here also you see the upper limit, lower limit, of the consecutive class of matching. That means it is a overlapping class. Okay. Minimum is already given for 0 0.00, so we will start with 0 0.00, and you see the minimum value comes, I could see 0 0.01, and the maximum I could see is 1 8. Anything more than one eight? Give the range of zero point two. Zero point zero two. Yeah, zero point two two. Anything else greater than zero point two two, which you can see? Yeah, this is the maximum I could see. So let's create the table starting with 0 0.00 to 0 0.04 as per requirement. The next will be what? 0 0.04 to 0 0.08. Next will be 0 0.08 to 0 0.12, 0 0.122, 0 0.16, 0 0.16 to 0 0.20, 0 0.20 0 0.20. That will be the classes I have. Why? Because each class, if you see, the class size is 0 0.04. Right? So, in this, I will, I'll add 0 0.04, I'll get 0 0.08. 0 0.08, I'll add 0 0.04, I'll get 0 0.12. 0 0.12, I'll add 0 0.04, I'll get 0 0.16. 0 0.16, I'll add 0 0.04, I'll get 0 0.20. 0 0.20, I'll add 0 0.04, I'll get 0 0.24. Let's start. 0 0.03. 0 0.08, it will not be here, it will be here. 0 0.08 again will be here. 0 0.09 again will be here. 0 0.04, it will not be in this case, it will be here. Why? Because this part is not included. 0.17 is a big number, it will be here. 0.16, it will be here, it will not be here, it will be in this class. 0 0.05 will obviously be here. 0 0.02 will be here. 0 0.06 will be here, 0.18 big number it will be here, 0 0.20 a bigger number it will be here, 0 0.11 let's say it will be here, 0 0.08 it will be here, 0 0.12 it will be here, 0 0.13 it will be here, 0 0.22 is a very high number it will be here, 0 0.07 will be here. 0 0.08 it will not be in this class it will be in this class 0 0.01 it will be here 0 0.10 little high number it will be here 0 0.06 it will be here 0 0.09 it will be here 0 0.18 it will be here 0 0.11 little big number it will be here right 0 0.11 is between 0 0.08 and 0 0.12 0 0.07 it will be here. 0 0.05 it will also be here. 0 0.07 it will also be here. 0 0.01 it will be here. 0 0.04 it will be here. Correct? Okay, so let's see. This is 4, 5 plus 4, 9, 5 plus 4, 9. This 2, this is 4 and this is 2. Let's add flow plus 9, 13, 9, 22, 24, 28, and 30. Total is 30. That means we are good. So we are done. So this is the group frequency distribution table for the concentration of sulfur dioxide in this particular city. Now the question is for how many days the part per million is more than 0 0.11? 0 0.11 more than is these three classes. Right? Because 
more than 0.1 is what? 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14 till 0.24. So you add these three class, what do you get? 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 2 8. So for 8 days, 8 days, the concentration of sulfur dioxide was more than 0.11 part per million. Okay. And we can also see that in maximum number of days, that is 18 days, the point per million part concentration of sulfur dioxide was of the range 0.04 to 0.12. So these data is also used by uh, different companies to promote which city to stay. Right? Also, the government take necessary actions to put special policies to make sure certain type of vehicles are banned. So all these things are done based on these data. These data comes from statistics. And these data helps to make our life better. So statistics is very, very critical for our life. The value of pi up to 50 decimals place is given below. 3.14, if you know pi, you can extend it to infinite number of decimal place. And we have to uh, make a frequency distribution table for the desert from 0 to 9. Please note, it's just a frequency distribution table. It is not a group frequency distribution table. And for the digits from 0 to 9 after the uh, decimal points, so all these points we'll see. And which are the most and least likely occurring digits. So digits 0 to 9, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we'll have 9 as well. Okay. So one, put here, one, four, one, five, four, one, five, nine, two, six, five, nine, two, six, five, three, five, eight, nine, seven, three, five, eight, nine, seven, nine, three, two, three, eight. 9, So if you see the values, this is 2, this is 5, this is again 5, this is 8, this is 4, this is again 5, this is 4, this is also 4, this is 5 and this is 8. So if you see, the most occurrence is for these two numbers, 3 and 4, that is most. We talk about the least occurrence, this is least. So if you want to say which are the most and least frequently digits, so the most frequently digit is 3 and 9 and the least frequently occurring digit is 0. Three coins were tossed 30 times. So there are three coins. And each time the number of head, this is head, and this is tail. The number of heads are recorded. They record only head. And the number of head, if, since you have uh, tossed three coins, sometimes they are zero head, they are one head, they are two head. Maximum you can have three heads. If you see, 
and we have to prepare a frequency distribution table. So in this case, if you see the maximum number of minimum number of head we'll get is zero, and the maximum is three because three coins are tossed. Okay, so we have to create a frequency distribution table. So let's do a tally: zero, one, two, two, one; zero, one, two, two, one. Zero zero one one two three one one two three two two zero two two zero. So if you see this, zero is six. One came ten times, two came nine times, and three came five times. If you add this, sixteen plus nine twenty five thirty. So that is correct. So it was since it was tossed thirty times, we got the total sum of frequency as thirty. So this is the simple frequency distribution for this given data. Pretty easy, right? So now we know that this is the outcome. So it can have zero head, one head, two head, three head. So this is the data I have to capture, and zero can come six times, one can come ten times. This is the frequency. So we can create a frequency distribution table easily. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.